scary. This isn't scary, but it is bullshit, though. This is what? Well, you, well, you said the, the, the cow shit the TV out. Not exactly, but I am enjoying this about as much as I would a pile of that. Why is that? Because it stinks. The science sucks, like... Uh-huh, on Thursday. No, Dustin. Like, no, this could even remotely happen. Like, resurrection? Are you kidding me? Well, a virus that resurrects a dead person and their brain isn't real, I'll give you that. Exactly, so this show is... All shit. Good, Dustin. Here's a cookie. Oh. Well, now, hold on. The whole virus resurrecting a portion of the brain thing isn't scientifically proven right now. But let's just say it is. Okay. I'm listening. First off, Walking Dead Tell says... Tell me when it's over. It's over, sweetie. Okay. Walking Dead says that this one virus kills you if you're bitten or scratched. And then resurrects your brain. Bullshit? Well, hold on. Any virus we know of can't do all of that true. It would have to be multiple viruses. Is combined virus even a thing? Whole viruses can't really combine, but individual strains of different viruses can. Oh, like an antigenic shift? Yeah. So all of these different factors that we we're seeing is plausible. I'm not buying it. Okay, here we go. Oh, don't get snippy with me. The show's just stupid. It's not, though. Hey, I've spent too many nights alone in my room with nothing but Mr. Snuggles and my cripplingly low self-esteem analyzing this show. <laughs> I thought it was a documentary! No, no it's not. I hope not. No, it's not. It's baloney. I thought it was bullshit! Oh my god! Guys, guys, it's not entirely baloney. There is some plausibility. Let's just go through the different aspects. First, brain resurrection. Not possible. We don't have any known viruses right now that can jumpstart the brain after death like that. Exactly. So we're going to have to go hypothetical on this. Alright, so hypothetically, there is a virus that can restart the brain. Now what about the rest of it? Like what? Like the symptoms. Like, it starts off as normal flu symptoms, then progressively gets worse, like hair loss or... Coughing up blood. Yeah, exactly. So a chain of the flu virus could be in there. Remember, chains of viruses can combine to make new viruses. Alright, well, there's that. Oh, mm, mm. I got it, I got it, I got it. What about, what about the virus just doesn't affect them at all, until, you know, when they get scratched, until, until later on, right? That, that doesn't seem real. No, actually, that's true. Rabies, Dustin. Yeah, that's a thing, Dustin. Oh, man. Mm. 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 So... The zombies of rabies. Well, not necessarily. Rabies is a neurovirulent virus, which means it has the ability to cause disease to the nervous system, but it's only neuroinvasive able to enter the nervous system when there's tissue trauma either... Like a butt or a scratch. Just like in there, right? But why are they so scary? What? Like, why are the zombies like the zombies? Why are, why are they trying to eat people and not like who they were? Something like Creutzfeldt Jacob disease. Wait, what's that? It's essentially human mad cow disease. It's a degenerative neurological disease, and there's a type of it that's iatrogenic. Iatrogenic what? Iatrogenic, transmittable through contamination with tissues from a infected person. Like zombies. That makes sense. So a chain of the flu virus would have to combine with the chain of the rabies virus, and then on that top, combine with a chain of the Creutzfeldt Jacob disease. Or something like that. Right. There are some chains of meningitis and staph infection in there, too. But remember, then there'd have to be a hypothetical... Who are you texting right now? Your mom! Neurotro neurotropic virus that can cut off higher brain function, while at the same time induce a severe starvation-like state. Alright, so we basically have two new viruses now. One that kills the person, and the other that resurrects them, like in the show. Right. Now, how did that Lazarus virus wait until the person's died to start up? An echo virus. Huh? An echo virus. The first virus that killed him would ha would have to be that. Ah, that makes sense. What's that? It's a, it's essentially a virus that triggers another virus. Oh, okay. So everything that makes the zombie virus plausible is all just a theory. That's bullshit.